What is up, YouTube land? My name is Adam, and this is Broke Man Finance. My very first SPAC of 2021 to watch is here, and I'm bringing it to you right now. acquisition ticker symbol CLA. They are going to be merging with a company by the name of Alster in a deal that will value them at 1.9 billion. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly who Alster is, what exactly they do. The potential should be obvious by the end of this thing, and you should be able to decide whether you believe this is an investment for you now, later, or maybe never. Alster is expecting to earn proceeds of $300 million from this merger. Now, for 2020, they're expecting a revenue of $19 million, which should make a lot of the investors feel a little bit better because a lot of our EV SPACs was revenue-less, and some will be for another couple years. Although that's not a big number by today's standards, Alster is one of the few that's actually generating some type of revenue in a decent amount. One of the biggest reasons Colonnade Acquisition was even interested in the company. Alster is powering the vision for an autonomous future where LiDAR powered solutions are ubiquitous and built into every part of the industrial economy, said Alster CEO Angus Pakala in a statement. Alster offers high resolution LiDAR sensors for long, mid, and short range applications. You may be wondering what LiDAR even is. Well, let me try to Bill Nye the science guy this thing and I'll try to explain it the best I can. LiDAR is a method for measuring distances by illuminating the target with laser lights, laser beams, and measuring the reflection with a sensor. Differences in laser return times and wavelengths can then be used to make a 3D digital representation of the target. For instance, if a vehicle is using Alster's LiDAR technology, they may not need us anymore as drivers because those lasers are constantly feeding data back to the car about the environment and surroundings, allowing for full autonomous driving. LiDAR has essentially given your car eyes. And let me say this, their LiDAR startups are nothing new. There are others out there. The difference though, what separates Alster from those guys is the quality of the imaging that Alster has. They bring to the table a much higher resolution image. The image is sharper and brings more clarity. Obviously, you can see why that would be important if your car is using that to drive itself. If the deal closes, the new company will trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol OUST. In the meantime, at the time of this filming, Colonnade is trading for $15.08. You can see here where I've got it circled that they have began building an existing customer base that includes actual sales and they have added 250 more customers this year alone. This is a check in the light column for me because as we all know with a lot of EV SPACs, not saying that this is what it is, but that's been, those EV SPACs that's been so popular, a lot of them had zero sales with the understanding it could be years before they do. But Alster is already expanding that customer base and continues to do so. This is where interest should continue to rise. If you're like me, your mind may have went straight to just automobiles and that's the for instance that I used earlier. But think about it like this in terms of a targeted market. We're talking not only about automobiles and cars and trucks, but we're talking about semi trucks, forklifts, dump trucks, drones. What I mean is, Look at the categories, industrial, smart infrastructure, robotics, and automotive. They're not a one trick pony. We're talking about multiple billion dollar markets here that's projected to reach 9 billion by 2025 and 50 billion by 2030 across those four key industries I just mentioned. Driven by smart infrastructure and industrial today, auto and robotics is projected to explode in 25 and on. Why would an Amazon target Walmart why wouldn't they want a driverless truck that could do it safely and transport their goods and products 24 seven with no drivers needing to rest? Actually, Walmart recently made uh, headlines for this very thing because they've been floating this idea and testing the waters for this thing for a little while now. That truck driver population would be a big issue if they found themselves out of a job. I don't believe this thing is going to happen overnight 
but gradually it would affect our entire economy. The name ouster literally means to expel or remove from a place or position occupied. This is their goal. Now, I'm not here to talk about morals, ethics, what you believe is right or wrong. I'm here just, just to review the company and their profit potential. However, autonomy is going to happen just like during the Industrial Revolution, and I'm not trying to get into a, a history lesson, but just like whenever the Industrial Revolution came in and took and machines took the jobs of a lot of people. The same thing is going to happen now, just on a different level. And if you're in an industry that's going to be affected, or you're in a position that's going to be affected, like truck drivers especially, then you need to start preparing yourself for that shift because that shift is going to happen. I'm not trying to be negative, Ned, here. I'm just trying to bring you a realistic goal of Alster and the possibilities of if they were to reach that goal, what it may look like, and the fact that they're not the only company out there trying to do that. But I'm off my soapbox. Moving on. Alster has more than 20 different invention families, 29 patents granted, with more than 100 applied for. And look at this slide from their in investor presentation. This is highly diversified revenue base across markets. I mentioned there are 450 customers in 2020, and this is what it looks like. Not one customer is, is the majority of their business. You can see how diversified it really is. From agriculture autonomy, construction autonomy, to pedestrian safety, smart tolling, traffic jam assist, parking assist, street cleaning, factory automation, and the list goes on. I like this a lot because you can see they are not completely reliant on just auto. Anything where their tech can work, they're trying to put it there. The revenue projections from here has a 143% CAGR to it, or compound annual growth rate, and they're expecting 2025 to really to be when they, this business really starts to blow up, with only 15% of that coming from auto meaning 85% the majority of the business will be from other endeavors, whether it's robotics, industrials, whatever. Here's a sales opportunity and revenue projections, and you can see that they're hoping to be, again, it's hope, they're hoping to be around $6 billion with the addition of new customers by 2025. They expect their current customers to anchor projections, and new customers are expected to three times their 2025 opportunity. They are expecting to be gross margin positive today, projected to reach 60% by 2025. And they expect to be EBITDA positive by 2023, proceeds projected to cover operations and growth investments. All in all, Alster is heading towards very profitable days. Now, how you feel about the fact that they could be taking people's jobs is, that's another thing, that's another story completely. I know some people feel some type of way and they don't like to invest in companies like that. Just like some people don't like to invest in sin stocks like, uh, like Altria, whomever, because of what their product does. But that's a decision you're going to have to make with yourself. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is this the future? Is this going to demolish our economy? What do you think? As always, I hope your stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe. And I hope everyone takes care.